Initially, when I looked at like the applications that were packaged with the SDK, I didn't think that the uh, depth camera was really going to do much for us. But now that I've had a chance to look into it deeper, we talked about it in the last post we just did. But that depth camera, it's really cool. It, it actually it really sees everything. Um, it's a lot of data. So now the challenge is just kind of getting things, um, you know, mapped up correctly in Unity so I can actually take advantage of that data. But I think it's going to save us time at the front and the back of our pipeline. But it was it was really cool when I actually got, like, a good slice of depth data where I actually was, like, just focused in on the face. Um, and then, I mean, you could really see everything. It's just a really exciting hard way, you know. It's, it's, it's like we said in our blog post before, it's, it's a blank canvas that... that it's and it's and it's a unique twist on um, on on the whole sort of motion and gesture control. I mean, um, the the gesture camera has uh, it, it picks up really fine details, which I was I was quite surprised that um, compared to say, you know, other other kinds of um, similar hardware. So I, I was I was immediately impressed, and that sort of stuff just sort of inspires ideas. You know, you think, oh, I could try this or I could try that, and then. I suppose that made us quite excited to, to jump in and get started. No, I just wanted to say that it's an Intel SDK, not a Microsoft one. And one of the big things about working with the Ultraboot is you're kind of working with all of it all at the same time. Whereas we have the fun of just having the SDK, we've got the hardware, we just run some examples, check out some source code, we're up and running within two hours. I mean, you know, and then you can get stuck in, do lots of very, very clever things. Um, got the prototype out the way and got rid of all the gray areas because there's a couple of question marks on on day one I've solved them so now it's just a case of just charging forward and getting as much of this app complete as possible because I know we've only got seven weeks but you don't want a prototype you want something that looks like a finished app so you know plenty uh, plenty of work still to do and Aaron I know you've not been able to get as much done on it but when you have you've been really yeah. productive and when, when we get to do our um, this it's been good and fun and it's looking really great. I think these guys are just as inspired, the artists on our project are just as inspired by the technology um, as you know, staff and I are from kind of a more technical standpoint and it's it's really exciting what we're able to put together and so it keeps everybody energized. Uh, in fact, when, when they have to be working on something else, they're like, oh, man, I want to be working on the Intel project. This thing is fun. But uh, yeah, we haven't, we haven't had any uh, any stumbles so far? We're we're doing quite well. We've we've set up with the with the perceptual computing hardware, and we've uh, had a look at the SDK and started doing small prototypes, which we're gonna we're gonna share with you next week in the blog post. But uh, yeah, as 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 the other guys said, uh, we haven't had any major problems yet. It's 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 quite nice working with 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 the hardware. It's impressive stuff. You know, I think you're gonna see it come thick and fast now. Especially we start competing with each other as we go from blog to blog, uh, out uh, cooling each other with what we can do with the uh, with the hardware. So, yeah, you're going to see a lot of acceleration. I think. I think you think it's fast now. Wait till week five. <laughs> because of what this camera is able to do, we think we're going to be able to get uh, pupil tracking. So you're going to be able to like look to actually aim and then shoot the different objects in our game, which are going to be really fun. I think you're on the right lines with the depth buffer, though, because uh, when I converted it to 3D, um, I could then go in and actually look at the fidelity of the distance, and it's actually sort of almost millimeter perfect. And I think that is the best weapon in order to implement things like, you know, 30 frames per second head tracking, gaze detection, so you can figure out first where the eyes are, and then you only have to pull a very small amount of RGB data to figure out where the pupils are. Um, I think before we never had the depth information. We all had to get it from this massive RGB stream. And so it was always going to be very difficult to get that sort of fidelity. But now we're doing a, an up-close motion detection system, something which can actually go down to the millimeter. Um, I think we have the tools now to, in order to create those wonderful tricks. And we haven't seen gaze before. We've seen it in like science experiments and futuristic movies, but we haven't seen a situation where you can sit in front of your computer, your eyes look at a particular corner of the screen, and you can get your software to know that's where you're looking. It doesn't have to be pinpoint accurate. It could just be 
proximity with an auto lock. But we don't we haven't seen that so far and with this technology, I think we'll be the first group of developers to start to ask them questions and pushing some technology out. Um, they might fail disastrously, but you know, we're asking those questions and we've got the technology which can provide some answers. The great thing about this challenge is whilst we're all sort of uh, taking on quite quite large projects, you know, things that are um, we, we may not be able to fully realize, um, it, it's, it's allowing us to, to push the boundaries, you know, as, as Lee was saying that a lot of this stuff hasn't been done before and I, I think that's the great thing about it, it? and it's great, great for perceptual computing as well because I'm sure um, the, the things that we'll try and maybe fail and maybe succeed here um, will, you know, push, push the community in, in the direction of trying new things as well, which I think is great. Yeah. And while, while this is a uh, competition, I think we're all rooting each other on. Uh, you know, when we, you know, like, <laughs> we hear about these features, we're like, yeah, let's pull this off. And so we're actually kind of helping each other try to figure it out. You know, just like Leah was saying about using a depth camera to actually pinpoint where the eyes are. I mean, it's a similar concept that we have on how to do it. But with us all collaborate, collaborating and, and sharing uh, the information that we're discovering as we go through it, we're, I think we're all going to push ourselves uh, to be creating some really awesome apps, which is, I, I think, this is probably the biggest takeaway from this thing. 